Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. How do you prefer which connection type to, type to be chosen? So customers need to decide on which connection type to be set based on different needs. So the main criteria could be like functional needs or data privacy constraints or data volume constraints because uh, sometimes uh, if you see the sales data, people are not interested to migrate to the other systems. Whereas if they have the research and analytics data, they are okay to migrate it. Whereas the sales and you know finance data, some customers don't like to copy it. So in such scenarios, you can go for import connections. In scenarios where you are okay to kind of authenticate and you know send the data to other system, uh, remote remote connections, then live connections are preferred. Then as I mentioned, data privacy constraints. Uh, some customers due to GDPR, they don't like to copy. So in such scenarios, you can also decide whether you want to go to import or live and also data volume constraints. So in case, if you remember, I said, right, uh, when SAC comes with around 5 TB of storage, so sometimes if you have 10 TB or 20 TB of data, then you cannot do import connection. You can't copy all the data, rather you can go for live connection. Yeah, so some of the key key points regarding this uh, live connections in that specifically direct live connections. So here, as I mentioned, you, can, you will do analysis without replication and confidential data which stays within the customer landscape. And uh, the data security and authorizations are implemented in source system itself and they are reused in SAC. You don't need to create again security concept. Then it leverages the existing investments built in the source system. So in case if you have source systems like business warehouse and uh, other databases where you would have a lot of money spent to kind of maintain those systems and uh, so in such scenarios it is always good to go for live connections because you have invested so much in your source system so you can still leverage such investments and uh, in case of complex data modeling is done by IT so there are people who kind of employ database engineers and data engineers to kind of model the data so in such scenarios they can do all the modeling data modeling in the source system and then just replicate or not exactly replicate just use a live connection to kind of fetch the data virtually to SAC so in such scenarios also go for a direct connection and uh, yeah here also low latency because it is near real time so whenever you query immediately the data is fetched and also end-to-end -end single sign-on is supported so if you have single sign-on mechanism set up the authentication mechanism it supports that so in uh, Compared to direct, uh, what are the different things? In? This is a protocol. This is a protocol which is used for authenticating. So SAML. I think single single access markup language. I think some language SAML language. Security assertion markup language. So this is a uh, language specifically you use to kind of log in users and all those uh, security related things. If you want to set up users, if you want to set up the access for remote users, so they use this language. So there uh, they will kind of mention who should get access. And sometimes people tell with the email ID they should create access user accounts. Sometimes they tell, you know, with employee ID. So such uh, configurations and all you can do using this SAML. And SSO is single sign-on. Single sign-on is like, I think you would know single sign-on. Basically, you don't need to log into uh, multiple applications. One login is enough. Like if you log in Microsoft account, all the applications will use it. So yeah, direct uh, live connection supports that uh, SSO via SAML. Then uh, in, in live connections, there is again another one is like tunnel. So tunnel connections is something which came like two years or one year back before that everything was direct live. So the tunnel is ideal if your organization wants to expose some data, certain data outside your corporate network without giving VPN. So in case if there are scenarios where um, customers want to uh, expose their data without giving the VPN rights to the users. So in most of the cases, customers will use VPN 
to connect to the uh, re remote source but if you don't want to kind of use VPN then you can go for tunnel connections wherein data is temporarily moved to SAC but that is as long as you are executing the report so once you execute the re report the data is cleared out so you can consider this as a cache mechanisms whereas direct connection data is not at all moved but here it is temporarily moved until you run the dashboard um, so that's why it's uh, tunnel connections so usually since data is moved physically until uh, the report is executed so it is usually slower than the di direct live connections because in direct live we are not at all copying data but here we are partially copying so it's basically slower and uh, course configuration is not required here because uh, we are not kind of executing in a live environment rather we are partially copying it and tunnel connections are not supported for the live connection to the universe so in case if your database or data source is uh, SAP universes then we cannot use tunnel connections then uh, yeah import connections you already know it's used for planning and smart predict uh, functionalities it is best for data preparation and data blending scenarios and you can copy the data so one thing we need to remember is only when we use import connections we can do data wrangling or data transformation in SAC like you want to change some columns you want to merge some columns you want to concatenate all those operations are supported only for import connections whereas in live connections it is not supported because when you are using live it is understood that you will do all the data modeling in the data source in your source system again these are some of the differences which I already covered so basically tunnel and direct connection or live data connections both of them uh, here we are using this cross origin resource sharing protocol and import is not live so here data is moved for a short time for tunnel here it is copied here it is not at all copied no depth data replication is done and here we need this uh, components for tunnel connection we need cloud connector for import we need both cloud connector and cloud agent whereas uh, for the live connection we need this course configuration thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today